Hello. I'm Lynn Browder, and I have a son, Owen, who is 11 and has autism. I paint with him. He helps me paint the backgrounds of our paintings, and then I paint the rest. I almost did my little um, bunches. I paint a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of bunches, <laughs> a lot of bunches. And I tell myself tonight I was not going to do a bunch. And then I almost started doing a bunch. <laughs> so I'm not going to paint. I'm not painting a bunch. I'm not. I refuse. <laughs> I'm painting a wild bunch, I suppose. <laughs> I paint and paint and paint a lot of flowers. Um, so I had to quickly uh, think. <laughs> I had to quickly distract myself from putting down the bunches. Um, and there's nothing wrong with me doing bunches every single day, except for I don't need to do bunches every single day. <laughs> so, um, random is fine. It's okay. I don't have to convince myself. <laughs> Soon I'll start doing my, um, kind of, um, Christmas, winter theme stuff, um, I don't know, I, I tend to do, like, a whole bunch of the same style, um, Christmas trees, and then I just do them in tons of colors, so, um, we'll see how that works out this year, I don't know what's gonna happen, I never do, really, <laughs> But that's kind of my thought process, is I will have a whole bunch of um, Christmas trees. So, I tend to do this one style flower in my bunches. And there's, again, nothing wrong with the one style flower. But I need to, you know, occasionally do something else and just let it work itself out. <laughs> and so here I am. This is me doing something different. <laughs> That's what this is all about, doing something different. And I also tend to use one paintbrush when I'm doing this. I have 500 sitting here. But I do that because I love the textures that come from using the same paintbrush. Because, like you can see, the pink stayed with this. And so the pink is on the paintbrush from that one. And... I just like how the colors get to mix kind of in there. So that is how that kind of happens for me. And I don't know, you know, why or what will happen from there. But that's what I kind of do. This one kind of took a, like, its own little theory or something. I'm not really sure what happened, but, we, you know, we work through it. <laughs> we just keep going until it emerges like a flower or something similar. Um, there is no, like, little one this way, except for maybe one that way. 
I don't know. Like I said, we'll just keep going until it looks like a flower. <laughs> uh, I crack myself up with flowers because I'm like one of these, I don't know all the names. I can't even say the, my favorite flower's name correctly. <laughs> um, Al Alstermeria, maybe that's getting closer. I'm terrible with names. Truly terrible with names. And not just flower names, just like names. Name names, any names, street names, people names. Um, it's just bad. <laughs> I'm just bad with names. I um, overthink names a lot, and so that doesn't help. Um, but, you know, I try not to. So, um, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. We had a good day today. Um, we only had a couple little, you know, moments where, um, Owen was anxious about something or things did not. It, it's, it's hard to tell sometimes because he has to practice and practice and practice some of his responses to things. And so sometimes he's not technically upset. He is practicing how to respond to an emotion or something that's going on. So that's hard to tell sometimes if he is truly upset or if it's learning how to respond in a situation or how, you know, to handle a situation. So it's learning for me as well, because I have to remain calm and, and figure it out and, and talk him into, um, calm into calm. <laughs> that's, that's it. Calm. Because I don't want meltdowns. I don't want him to go through the meltdown process because that is hard. That's hard on him. That's hard on me. It's hard. And so, um, I have to learn what his, what his triggers are. I have to learn why something is going the way it is. Um, and, and try to figure out the responses that I should be making or what, what's triggering these moments. So, um, it happens a lot in the car where he can't process something like a red light. And if you've been in a car before, you know there are lots of red lights. So that is something that um, is hard because I know I have to stop at a red light. I absolutely totally and completely understand that I have to stop at a red light. He knows per se that I have to stop at a red light, but he wants nothing to do with me stopping at red lights. So how do you stop at a red light and keep your child distracted and content and keeping him, you know, understanding and learning that I have no control over the lights changing or what's happening in those moments. But he needs to remain calm and just let it happen. You know, that's hard. That's hard when you are... Um, when you're a kid, you know, why would you want to stop at a red light? Why would you want to just stop? It just, it's hard. But I have to, again, remain calm. I have to keep him calm. I have to um, just tell him that it's going to be a okay. 
and that we are going to get going as soon as we can. And, and that's how we have to deal with it, you know, and again, that's kind of hard, but why, you know, who wants to stop at a red light? Nobody wants to stop at a red light. But I explained to him that if we don't stop at the red lights, if we don't go through the red light process, then nobody will get anywhere. We have to stop for red lights. I have a bristle, bristle, bristle sprout. I have a bristle, a thing that's not working over here. It's not being cooperative. Um, so, um, Today was one of those days where um, he was more into the learning part of it than he was in the actual meltdown part of it. Which again, you know, that's, that's hard because he, um, he's learning. He's learning how to deal with everything, but he's also learning how to deal with everything. And that is an emotional part of the journey for him. It's, it's hard for him to say, okay, well, I need to not scream at red lights. Um, but yet that again is how he is learning what to do or how to behave or how to adjust from it. So, um, I have to learn too, but we're getting there and today was much calmer again. He, um, goes through times where meltdowns are harder, um, but we're getting there. We are getting there. Um, I'm attempting to do kind of a rose-ish style, looking at it a little bit differently. Um, I am always attempting new ways to do something. And I was looking at one of my paintings that I had done, um, gosh, two-ish, three years ago. And so, um, It kind of is this way where I kept spiraling it around to get to the point where it was more rose-ish than blob-ish. <laughs> and that's kind of where we're at right now is, is trying to find the difference between the blob-ish moment and how to change it um, you know, and it's not necessarily that it needs to be a rose. It just needs to look like a flower and not a blob. <laughs> so that's, that's the learning process. And I'll never stop attempting to make something the way it is or isn't, you know, because again, that's, that's the thing is learning Learning how to paint is something that I am going to continuously work on because, you know, I started painting with Owen to learn how to paint and to teach him how to paint and to work on his fine motor skills, but I had never painted before. And so learning to paint, that's an experience. That's something that, you know, I don't know how to do. I don't know all the ins and outs and, and ah, this, my friends, is what happens when you put too much paint on your paintbrush. And if you watched before, you know, I do that a lot, <laughs> but luckily, luckily that was kind of, um, I'm going to say that's exactly what I was trying to do. Put a lot of paint on there so it would go everywhere. <laughs> Um, we'll just leave it at that and we can, we can just pretend like it was a, you know, perfect scenario. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so that's the attempt at the rose-ish thing. And we're just going to say that it turned out exactly, again, exactly how I planned it. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. One day it'll, um, I am, and not so much that I have to have all my roses looking exactly like roses, but I would love for something to happen with them that they look, you know, more like roses. I didn't really want two things together that were blobby. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see. We're just going to kind of put an edge around that, I suppose. And they look similar, but different. It's okay. Um, I wasn't going to do as many um, full things as I'm doing. Um, I was going to do a lot more kind of, um, I don't know, um, flat arm vines and such, I suppose, but, you know, once you get started on one thing, it just keeps going, so it's okay. Although, I'm getting very sleepy, um, this, we had the time change this weekend, and I can never, um, I do much better attempting to figure out, like, the spring forward, um, than fall back. Um, it, it always just is, um, I can never decide if I'm supposed to be tired and when I'm supposed to be tired and when I'm supposed to not be tired. Uh, cause it just always feels like, it always feels like it's the wrong time and the darkness, this is just like constant. I don't know. Something in never, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, <laughs> it makes me very sleepy. I want to do something on top of this, but, um, I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do. Um, so here I am again with um, the sleepiness from the time change. And I know like we were supposed to have like, they kept saying, you know, you get an extra hour of sleep or something. But again, it kind of confuses me because I don't know, like... <laughs> It cracks me up because I truly don't know which one I'm supposed to think about. Like, is it true? Which, which way? Is I spring forward, fall back, but I always feel extra sleepy. And I think it has to do with some of the, um, at five o'clock, it's so dark here, you know, like it's that dusk and it's like dark and <laughs> dark and, and tired, you know? I know, I'm not making much sense. That's probably because it's dark and it's tiring. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think I'm, I think I'm about done with all the colors where, here I am doing this again, when I wasn't going to do any more of this. That's, again, those two really close together, but Eh, you know, so we're going to do another one over here. Um, and then maybe I need, I don't know, let's, let's see what I can come up with down here. Just something else. I'll leave that because that's where I'll put my little signature I do with Owen, um, or for Owen, with Owen, whatever the term. Um, 
I think I'm about done. Hmm. I get a little slap happy with all the, you know, colors that I'm. Ooh, that it was very thick. That's gonna cause sitting right there. There's like a blob right there, and that was not fun. It's from the light that I was using right there. Okay, it's really thick. Hold up. Gotta adjust. Oh, and then I picked up a dark blue, which I don't hate. I thought it was gonna be. Um, the lighter blue, but not a problem. And then I just made that really thick. <laughs> so let's just, I'm just gonna make all kinds of decisions here about what we're doing because of, eh, there you go. We got stuff going on. It's okay. It's okay. See, you just, just keep saying it's okay. <laughs> All right. I was going to put something else up there, but I think I just need to stop. I think I need to stop. Maybe just... Uh, the background of this is not what I wanted for these particular colors. But I had this in my mind already. Um, and so I think um, I wasn't going to talk myself out of what I was doing. Um, so I think that's part of what's going on here. Um, so we're just going to. Again, we're, we're running out of space and I don't know why I'm, see, I get, I get to the point where I can't stop and <laughs> the point of no return. And here we are. See, I didn't know it wanted another one of those floppy ones, but there we are. So we're just gonna do that and then I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna sign O for Owen, and then L, and B. There we go. Okay, so we are done. All right, well, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Toodles!